Welcome back to the sofa. With that one, Kyle? And Chris. Yes, we know he looks creepy. 1950. Space Patrol. Wow. I want to see him patrol space. He's really talking it up. Oh yeah, from the blurb that I, I read. So this is a, a radio show, and the same cast did the video. So this was a cutting edge, now we're moving into video. All right. Yeah, 1950, right around the beginning of TV. God, the credits. And Liz Osborne. My name's Cadet Happy. Written and produced. Everyone wants to know who... Directed by Dick Darling. <laughs> I wanted to hear him say it. Universe. So like, they still got the clouds going. The TV, the TVs in those days, very small, <laughs> and the kids would huddle right. around it, right? And you'd be all excited, and you could only catch it once. Right. I guess this makes sense, you know, the production-wise, you had to lock off one shot, and you're just gonna do a two shot. You're not doing close-ups. That's too hard, too expensive. Right. This is a one-camera shoot. Yeah, it's a little close. None of you are secure. <laughs> That's the earth going away? Oh, okay. I can't see what his hair is doing. What is that? Is that, that is a hard, hard part. Wow, it's kind of, it's really fun to watch something like this and kind of put yourself in the imagination of the, the kids who watched this and thought this was you know, Infinity War. Right, but in 1950, if you had a TV, you were like in the top 2% of earners. Oh. Well, the terror was a man. Like, everyone else was wa listening. Listening on the radio, on the radio right. It, He's probably mean? saying, were I to look out the windshield, I would see an amazing array <laughs> of cosmic phenomena. But, you know, the camera should just point this way. <laughs> right. In a lot of ways, I wish, you know, the imagination of what the future would be was still so far out and artistically devoid of realism. Nowadays. That's true, that's true. Like, nowadays, if it doesn't look a certain way, you're like, oh, that's not the future. Yeah. That's not practical. Right. But at, at this point, the future could be anything and was anything. It was interpreted a bunch of different ways. I wonder if the actors even got to watch this. I guess they could, should, like one time. Some of them might not even had TVs. It's possible that they didn't because televisions were expensive. It's not like they were invited into the editing room. Right. They probably got paid their daily rate of like $7 or whatever it was and, uh, you know, never heard about it again unless they got the call back to come back. Laser gun. Shoot him. This guy a good citizen of the universe? Well, I'm happy as I'm a <clears throat> By the way, is it any, I mean, is it just kind of coincidence that the bad guys all have facial hair and look rather ethnic compared to the other <laughs> Did anyone else catch that? You know you can't trust Italians, right? <laughs> <laughs> Even in the future, right? People of Earth, this was a joke. Oh, commercial. Don't gamble at railroad crossings. <laughs> I guess people tried to race the train a lot more back then. Don't let an accident spoil your fun. Try not to sh yourself. <laughs> what are they talking about? Yeah, I agree. Be careful, white people only. <laughs> That's a whole Again. Joke. I, can you see the stick behind the... Oh, yeah. The airplane. Is that supposed to be thrust or is that the stick? I thought that was thrust. I think that's the stick. Oh, wow. Uh, they got the models moving. That's Little, not bad. That's cool. God, I want to punch that kid. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like the less likable version of an unlikable Robin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Like, what was the name of the Robin in Batman Forever or whatever? Oh, I forget. Yeah, that guy. Chris O'Donnell. Watch Scent of a Woman and Educate Yourselves. This guy's less likable than that, and everyone hated him. Space Patrol. Holy rusted metal, Batman! I mean, the metal, it's all rusted, and it has holes. Don't worry, Robin. You're never gonna work again. <laughs> and yeah, that's the end. Don't take these guys seriously. I mean, look at their clothes!